welcome to the Toy Tornado Road and the status of today for Friday, February 10th. I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Bree. Today, basketball will travel to Indy. The student section theme is construction. On Saturday, the Valentine's Dance will be held from 8 to 1030 in the Food Service Center, and Girls Varsity Wrestling will host regionals at home. Now let's head to the halls with Jacob for this month's character focus. Thanks guys, I'm Jacob and I'm out here in the halls to interview some teachers and administrators about this month's character focus, Empathy. I'm here with Mr. Thompson and I'm going to ask him a couple questions about empathy. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Starters, um, what does empathy mean to you? So empathy to me is understanding the feelings of another person mm -hmm. and not necessarily having those same feelings, but sharing in that moment mm -hmm. what, what the person is feeling. Yeah. Um, secondly, how <coughs> do you think people show empathy at this school? Oh, wow. Um, Putting you on the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think, you know, we have, we have a really good... Uh, group of kids here and a really good group of staff members here and I think that one of the biggest ways that I see people show empathy for others here is you know if, if a friend has somebody going through something they are sure to come in here and talk with Mr. Stalford or myself or uh, Mr. Welch or the counselors and just let them know let us know kind of what somebody's going through um, just so that we as a school community can kind of keep an eye on uh, that person and their situation and maybe help them through it if we can. That's a really good response. Um, what is your advice for kids to learn empathy? How to? Yeah, so I think first of all to practice empathy or to show it you have to not be self-centered you can't your view on things can't just be about what you think and what you feel and um, you have to get out of your own head and try to understand someone else's perspective um, you know Empathy is just that sharing in those feelings with another person. And if you're self-centered and, and you're focused only on your own ego and your own problems, then you're never going to be able to um, fully empathize or help someone through mm -hmm. a tough situation or feeling. That seems very reasonable. Well, uh, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm here with Miss Shiki and I'm going to interview her about empathy. Are you ready? Okay, for starters, um, what does empathy mean to you? Um, I think empathy is like putting yourself in somebody else's shoes, understanding where they're coming from and trying to relate to that. Okay. Um, do kids show empathy in this school? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I definitely think we could show more of it around here, but yeah, I definitely think there are kids who do show it. Just we definitely need it to be happening more here. Okay, that's understandable. Um, if you have any advice for kids to learn empathy, what would it be? I think putting yourself in somebody else's shoes and understanding where they're coming from, trying to not be so judgmental. Okay, that's very reasonable. That's all the questions I have for you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So I'm here with Mr. Sizemore, and I'm going to ask him a couple questions about this month's character focus, empathy. Are you ready? I think so. Okay, for starters, what do you think empathy means? I think empathy is uh, when you put yourself in somebody else's uh, shoes, so you want to, you understand from their perspective, not necessarily yours. So that's, that's different than sympathy, where you feel mm -hmm. bad for somebody uh, without really understanding how they feel. Okay, and um, do you think people show empathy uh, in the school? In the school in general? like. Students and students, teachers, students. Yeah, just in, just in general. Yeah, in general. Yeah, I think so. I think um, uh, we a school is a, co a combination of so many people at one place at one time. 
you have to be aware of other people and their feelings in order for things to work smoothly. Mm -hmm. So you constantly have to look at other people's perspectives and think about what that means and, and how you can respect their feelings. So I think that's, yeah, I think it happens here. Okay. Um, if you have any advice for students who want to learn and understand empathy, what would it be? Listen. Mm -hmm. Just listen. People will tell you their story mm -hmm. and, and tell you how they feel. And uh, don't talk just to uh, anticipate and talk again, but actually stop and listen to what somebody's saying. Process it. Say it back to the person. Make sure you understand and you got it right. And I think you can make a connection. Well, thank you. That's all the questions I have for you. All right, thanks. Those were some good interviews. Now let's head back to the studio. Then on Tuesday, Gold Clubs will meet during advisement, and basketball will play against Parsons at home. The student section theme will be pink out, and it's also senior night. The seniors will be recognized after the varsity girls game. Thursday is a late start date, and Boys State swim meet will be held in Topeka. Now to the halls with chance for this week's special. Thanks, guys. It's Chance at the halls, and today I'm going to have an interview with some couples and playing the couple quiz game with them. Let's go. I'm here with the first couple, Baby J and uh, Taylor, and uh, are you guys ready to play? Yeah. All right, all right, so the first question, first question is, what's Baby J's favorite food? What'd you put? Chicken strips, beef. Chicken strips, beef for real. You know it's chicken strips. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, let's see. Uh, What's Taylor's favorite color? Alright, okay, 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 one point, one point, one point, one point. Y'all doing good, y'all doing good, y'all doing good, y'all doing good. Alright. What's Baby J's position in football? Alright, okay. You pay attention to him, you pay attention to him, man. I see you, I see you. Two points. Alright, last question. What's Taylor's position in volleyball? Oh. I don't know what it's called. Does it mean what's called? If you don't, just just explain it. What um, you do? The person that um like be at the front. Like ain't that like the blocker? Like <laughs> no, no. no. Mm. Y'all got y'all got two out of four. Y'all did good. Y'all did good. Y'all did good. All right, I'm with the next couple, Shantae and Aaron. And y'all go play the couple squares, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so first question is, Aaron, yeah. when did you and Shantae first get together? When did we first get together? Yes. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no point, no point, no point. No point. Y'all good though, y'all good though, y'all good though. Now y'all gonna see how many y'all can get out of four. So okay. y'all got three more questions. Okay. Alright, Shantae, what's Aaron's favorite food? Oh, <laughs> you gotta put you gotta put some down. <laughs> okay. What's my way? It's like chicken with like. It's like you have to try. You have to. That's a try. You have to. Is that the like the crumble cheese? I don't know any of this food. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> you ready for this one? Yeah. What's Shantae's favorite color? Alright, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Y'all got one point, y'all got one point. Alright. Aaron, this is the last question. Right. This is the money round. Alright. What's Shantae's basketball number? Let me see. Alright, yeah, good work, good work, right, good work. Alright, alright. That's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, I'm here with uh, Griffin and Peyton, and today you guys are going to play the couple of questions. You ready? Are you ready, Griffin? Mm -hmm. Are you scared? Yeah. Do, you, do you think you guys are going to win? Because everybody so far only got two points. Yes, I think we'll be better than that. Okay. How many questions? Four. All right. And then, and then, all right, so first question is, what's Peyton's favorite color? Oh, my sister's red? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was Pink! Looking, all right, come on. There's going to be an argument on set, okay? Peyton, what's Griffin's favorite food? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? 
Mm. I had that. <laughs> oh, good yeah. We're gonna Why did you do food flurries? Because you know. I doubt that. She should come out. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She she doesn't know. Yeah. All right. Um, Peyton, what's Griff's basketball number? Okay. 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 Okay, I'm gonna I'm try to give you guys these before you guys can be up next to the competition. What's Peyton's favorite movie? Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. <laughs> okay, so y'all got two also. So you want a tiebreaker, right? Tiebreaker? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, I'll give y'all a tiebreaker. I'll give you guys a tiebreaker. Uh, let's think, let's think. <laughs> What's Griffin's favorite drink? All right. All right. Okay. 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 You guys. You guys have one. You guys have one. Your relationship, boys. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. You do that good. Thanks to all the couples that have joined and have played the game. I'm back to the studio with Brooklyn and Bray. Hey guys, it's Bray. Let's go to Stalford for our weekly NATO watch. Good morning, NATO family. Once again, we're back here with the NATO watch. We're gonna get somebody drawled out. And we're going to get him down here and we're going to spin the wheel. Schaefer, again. Miss Cowan wrote one for Chloe Vell. Printed rosters and stopped, stamped, is that stamped? Stapled them by hand. Okay, Chloe Vell, let's get her. All right, here we are. We got Chloe down here. She is the winner of the NATO watch this week. She's gonna spin the wheel. Once again, we have lunch passes on here where you get to leave campus. We have gift cards right here that she gets to pick which one she wants. If she lands on a gift card, we got $20 cold hard cash if she gets $20. And of course, we have an affirmation from Principal Stauffer and a handshake from Principal Stauffer. So Chloe, give it a whirl. Good hard spin. <laughs> $20 cold hard cash. Here you go, Chloe. There you go. Bam. $20. Congratulations. Thanks for being a good student. All right, NATO family. Here we are. Miss Cowan. She did the NATO watch. She put one in there for Chloe Vell, who won the $20 cold hard cash. Now she's going to get her money. So let's go check it out. But first, everybody's admiring my jackets. Go Chiefs. But hey, Closest the Cowboys are ever going to make it to the Super Bowl, so we gotta we gotta wear it now. All right, let's go see Miss Cowan. Miss Cowan. Yes. Chloe won the twenty dollars. You get your twenty dollars cold hard cash, and you're gonna be on the twist. So. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Glad well, to see everybody's working really hard, yes. making shirts. Good job, Chloe. Yes. <laughs> all right, there we go, winner. Thank you, Stalford, and all the participants. Now back to the studio. Oh. Thanks, Chance, for that amazing special. That's all the news we have for you this week. I'm Bree, and I'm Brooklyn. Tune in next week for more of the twist.